Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here, and applications have conditional fields. Some fields in Populi are unconditional, like your parents' love, but some are conditional, like your uncle's love. You know, it's like, who cares about handwritten thank you notes for Christmas gifts? Uncle Terry does, that's who cares about thank you notes. That's a condition for his love. This is going to be most useful to folks who have the admissions admin role because they're the ones who can actually make changes to the application forms. However, users who just have the plain old admissions role can also glean some helpful information about how the new features work. We'll link some related resources down in the description. So let's say you don't wanna show all the fields relating to dorm options to applicants planning to live off campus. Conditional fields allow you to only display those fields to applicants who answer yes to a question like this. With that in mind, let's walk through how to create conditional fields. Under admissions, settings, application forms, we'll create a new application, we'll give it a name, and then down here, I'll go to add a field. We could add a linked field here, but we're going to create a standard field for our example. Now, all we have to do is, what in the world? I don't have an option for conditional field here? Say, what gives? Conditional fields are dependent on other fields. So you have to have a field in place that can be a condition for this field. You have to have a field of one of these types already created on the application, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, or yes, no. So we're gonna use this field here. We're gonna set it to a yes, no type, and we're going to make the text here, are you seeking on campus housing? So we're gonna create that field. We're going to save it. We've got it set as required here. And then when we go to add a field now, you'll see an option for conditional come up here. That's the ticket. Once we check that box there, we've got this additional dialog here. Now the fields that come up here will be those of the types that we mentioned earlier. Over on this application form, we've got fields of each of those types, yes, no, drop down, check boxes, and multiple choice. And I'm creating a new field down here and as I'm creating a new field down here, I can click that conditional box, and then you'll see that I get each of those different types popping up. And further, if I wanna get fancy, I can get very fancy indeed. I could choose to only show this field in the event of a specific set of responses to all of these different conditions here. If you're familiar with how creating conditions in Populi works, this will be familiar. If you aren't, we have a knowledge base article on report filters linked down in the description, and that should get you headed in the right direction. But we're gonna stick to a simpler example because honestly, I think that in most situations, the way folks use this feature will be pretty straightforward. We'll fill this field out, we're gonna use the drop down input type for this one. And then I'll input each of those drop down options there. Now, when I go to conditional, I can select the question there that I wanna use. And then I do want that set to is yes. So when somebody answers, are you seeking on-campus housing as yes, that's what's gonna trigger this field here. Once I've got that, I can save. And then once we've created this field, it's marked out as conditional with this little icon here. Now let's look at a preview of the application as it stands. If we click yes here, we'll get that other field showing up underneath just like so. Now we have some further fields here that we wanna add and we want all of them to be based on the same condition that we used for this one. But actually I'm gonna go over to this example that I have here where these are already all created. And you can see here that they each have the same condition set on them. So anything that should be triggered based off of that condition will need to have the condition set on it down here in order to pop up. 
when somebody inputs that response. Let's go have a look at how that shows up on the preview here. I fulfill the condition by clicking yes right there, and then boom, more fields. Those that were previously hidden are now revealed in all their splendor. Just as a note here, applications have pages and you can make whole pages conditional. You can see here I can add a page real easily and then once I've added that page, I can just edit it right here and then I can choose to make that page conditional. So then everything contained on the page would only show up if someone meets whatever the condition is. And it's that easy, friends. Check down in the description for related resources, including other vids about newer application features. Do you wanna dig deeper and get more value out of Populi for your school? Join our Discord server. It's where Populi users can ask each other questions and capitalize on community knowledge. If you wanna become a part of that community, go to Help in Populi and choose Join the user community. That'll take you to a spot that has instructions about how you can get set up. I've been Josh for Populi. You've been great. Thanks for watching.